Do you hate getting speeding tickets? Me too. Let's try to avoid one out of the water and get you all set up with your proper safety gear. Hi, I'm Sean from Lens Cove Lessons and Boating. It's really important for you to have the right safety gear on board your boat at all times. A, it keeps your occupants safe. In case of emergency, you'll have everything you need. And one of the differences between boating and driving in your car is you would only likely get pulled over in your car if you were you know, speeding or doing something reckless. Wherever your boating region is, that authority will pull you over from time to time to, and have you show them that you have all the required gear and that you know where it is and how to use it. So in today's video, we're gonna go over, are the regulations the same for every boat? We'll talk about the different size classes and areas for use. For a typical boat on a smaller inland lake or river, what do I need on board? What are the common fines issued for? What else might I wanna have on board that, but is not required by law? The regulations are not the same for every boat. You're gonna to wanna to research your vessel and find out exactly what you require. Whether it's human powered, paddle boats, kayaks, etc., PWCs, boats under 19 and a half feet, boats under 29 and a half feet, or larger vessels. There are many classifications of boat sizes and there are additional safety requirements for each size of boat. For our typical boat on our small inland lakes in Eastern Ontario, which we would consider under 30 feet in length, you will need navigation lights to run at night, a safety kit, which is a baler, a buoyant heaving line, a waterproof flashlight, and a sound signaling device like a whistle or a horn. If your boat has a built-in inboard outboard, stern drive, or if it has a built-in fuel tank, you will require a fire extinguisher for that. On top of that, you will also need a PFD properly sized for everybody who's on board the boat. You will also need a paddle or an anchor to be on board at all times. One of the most common finds out here on our small inland lakes and rivers is that your waterproof flashlight either has dead batteries or no batteries at all. It is your responsibility to check it each and every time you go out on the lake. Also, if you are on a big enough body of water that you can be more than one nautical mile, which is 1.68 kilometers approximately, away from shore at any given time, you will need flares. And you'll see that note when you look at the Transport Canada restrictions. You may also want to have extra PFDs on board. It's very common when you're out on the lake and it's social time that a couple people jump on board to go with you. And if you only have exactly the right number, you may be out of compliance instantaneously. Sometimes we often see people lend them when you, you know, boat switch up and people go from boat to boat. So you have more life jackets on board than you need. Although it's not required by law, it's just a smart bet. The other thing that's nice are the inflatable style PFDs that you can wear when you're out on the boat and they're very unobtrusive. So they inflate and they take up very little room and you feel more comfortable wearing them, particularly if it's rough or you're uneasy at all, and then you don't have to have a big bulky PFD on at all times. You may also want to consider a handheld or portable VHF radio. Cell phones can die and sometimes you get out without cell signal out on the water because you're in a bad spot. And if you have an emergency and a VHF radio that will be hear heard by the Coast Guard could be a valuable life-saving tool. Getting out on the water with your friends and family is hopefully one of the most enjoyable times you have in the summer this year. Let's make sure it's safe and without incident and without fines by making sure you have the right gear on board the boat at all times. We're gonna provide a link down below for the Transport Canada website, which will have an exact list of the things that you need on board your boat so that you can be safe out in the water. Remembering that there are different sizes and categories and there's also different areas or bodies of water for you to pay attention to. Here is a link to a video about licensing your boat in Ontario. And you may wanna check out the description below for that Transport Canada link and some other blog posts about boating safety. Thank you for joining us on Lens Cove Lessons of Boating for today's video. Remember to like this video and subscribe for more. Be safe. Have fun, and we'll see you out on the water.